The explosive growth in compute is in turn driving demand for very high speed optical connectivity. The industry is going through a dramatic transformation from 800 gig optics to 1.60 optics. 200 gig per lane is at the bedrock of these 1.60 optics. Hi, my name is Vijay Janapati and I'm the general manager for Broadcom's DSP business. And I'm here to talk to you about 200 gig per lane optics. Customers demand some very important things in their high speed networks. The first and foremost is lower power. You know, uh, the power uh, is a very uh, scarce commodity in these data centers today. For them to be able to power these data centers, they absolutely need the serial links, which are the second most source of power consumption to be as low as possible. Of course, cost is very, very important. And then thirdly, it is very important to customers that they be able to deploy this at scale and in a highly interoperable and in an open manner. And the DSP vendors like Broadcom and the module makers have a huge challenge to face these demands. So we have to come up with uh, an incredible innovation to make that happen. And the bedrock of that innovation is integration. So we incorporate significant nonlinear and linear equalization capabilities into our DSPs. We also integrate drivers and TIAs in CMOS technology to reduce power and also to reduce cost while also operating these links at a very, very low prefect bit error rate. And why is that important? It's important because with these very low prefect bit error rates, customers have very strong margin in their networks or optionally they can turn off certain error correction capabilities and significantly improve their training and their inference times by lowering the latency. So these benefits, along with the incredible flexibility that Broadcom DSPs offer, for example, CN1 family allows customers to connect to 100 gig switches uh, or uh, to be able to run them at either 212 or 226 with a concatenated fact, without a concatenated fact, or to deploy them at 800 gig or 1.60, and lastly, to either deploy a fully retimed optics or a half retimed or LRO optics. These LRO optics, of course, provide the benefit of a lower power and lower cost, while at the same time preserving the benefit of pluggable optics that we all love you know, in the industry today. So with that and with this innovation, uh, us and our partners are able to keep up with the demands of our customers and we are sure that in the next uh, few generations, we'll continue this innovation to drive these incredible speeds to meet the AI demands.